So I just wanted to make a quick video um, because I jumped into the headset to do some normal stuff, play some games, and I saw a notification, specifically this notification that says new features are here, update version 50. Well, I don't have version 50, or at least I didn't think I had version 50. So of course, I jump into my settings, check my system, check my, my software update, and look at that. I have version 50 now. So it looks like I got it today at some point. Um, and I've seen videos on version 50 and some of the things that it does. Um, don't know exactly when they put it out mainstream. Um, don't know if I'm late to the game and I just didn't realize, or maybe I got lucky and they send it kind of early. I really don't know because I haven't seen any videos of people using it. I've only seen a few videos from a couple days to a couple weeks ago of people talking about when it actually comes along, what it's going to be about. No one actually was using it. So I figure, oh, wow, I have version, I have version 50. That's great. Let's go check it out. So let's go back to this. I open this and it tells me a few things here. Specifically, well, this I didn't care about, but it tells me how to get to this, right? And I have to go into my settings, experimental settings specifically, and under features, you would see direct touch. Well, when I first did that, I didn't see direct touch. It was the same thing. Nothing had changed. It said I had version 50. Well, it turns out you have to restart your headset. So that's what I did. I restarted the headset, came right back in here, and then it shows direct touch. So of course I click on it. Don't know if it's going to come up on video, but there was a flash of just black. And then this comes up and it kind of looks like like a large tablet or a computer screen in front of you and I didn't quite understand what was going on until I looked at my hands and I thought they looked kind of weird they looked a little different I read what it says and I go okay and I try to put my hand through the screen notice how the controller keeps going through because my hand is going through but the virtual hand stops. Can you hear that? That audible uh, feedback of my virtual finger touching the screen. So now you can touch things with your finger. You can navigate and do all that, either while holding the controller or even if you take off the controller and just do hand tracking, it, it also works. So let's test it out. Uh, let's, let's go out of here. Okay. Now, at first, when I was playing with it, I noticed a lot of lag. It's probably still there, I just don't notice it as much because I'm kind of getting accustomed to it, I'm getting used to it. But for little, little buttons like that, close out button, it's not always uh, accurate. Now, let's take the controllers and put them down. See how long it takes for the hands to start tracking. There we go. Now, another thing I noticed about my hands, my virtual hands, they look a lot more like my real hands now. Like, they're lining up better. I don't know if that's part of version 50 or what. Or maybe it was always like that and I just never noticed. But it seems to match a lot better now. But now, I can touch things. Now you get that audible feedback, but obviously you're not going to get physical uh, feedback. It's not going to vibrate because it's just your hands. These are my hands. I'm not holding the controllers anymore. But now I can scroll. It's not perfect. But let's go to another setting. Let's go here. Okay. 
Now, let's go to games, just to get that out of the way. So, you can now touch the screen and bring it up and down. Oh, they have a free trial. You gotta check that out. But you can navigate with your fingers like you would normally do on a touch screen, which to me, I, I, I'm easily impressed when it comes to this device. But this is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I just wanted to share that with you because, um, as I said, I didn't see anyone else doing any videos on this, specifically where they were doing it. They were just showing you stock footage that they gave, that they received because, you know, they, they have access to it. Don't know if I'm actually late to the game and just didn't notice, and everybody else already has this, but I wanted to share it because now I have it. How often am I going to actually use it? Well, time will tell. It may just be a novelty for me, but it's kind of cool. Now let's uh, let's see if I can. I don't actually know, type very well, but let's do a search. Let's do um, I don't know. Let's do big screen since I already have that. Oh, see that? Again, not perfect. It's not quite lining up, but. With practice, I suppose I can make it work. And who knows, over time it'll probably get better. Now, do I expect to be able to type like a real type, you know, like a real keyboard? Probably not. It's going to make mistakes. Because, as I don't know if you can see, well, of course you can't see it, but there is a, a little bit of a lag between the virtual hands and my hands moving. Um, so, if I go to touch a certain button, it's not always going to land on, on the right button at the right time. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's an improvement. And it is a cool little feature. So let's see how well it reacts. Okay. There we go. Again, sometimes it takes more than one uh, push. See? before it actually registers. But yeah. So I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. Uh, tell me what you think. Leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you want to see. And uh, hopefully, with any luck, I'll see you again in the next one. And until then, take care.